Welcome to the BCFC Coaches Show for Week 10 and the final week of the regular season. First place, 8-1, and one, Okanagan Sun will host the 4-5 and five Victoria Rebels in the second half of a home-and-home. Home. Last week, the Sun beat the Rebels, which put them one step away from clinching home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Sun head coach Pete McCall says that's exactly what they'd like to do this weekend. Oh yeah, it's absolutely up there at the top, uh, you know, and, and with that win too, we'll, be, uh, we'll finish first place, and that's uh, something we haven't done in a few years, so we're pretty excited about these opportunities that lie ahead of us. Want to reflect on last weekend in Victoria, what do you take away from that game? Well, there's definitely, uh, I think we all had a bit of a sixth uh, feeling in our stomach, you know, that wasn't the way we, we intended to go down there and play that game. I mm-hmm. thought we came out flat and finished flat. Uh, you know, in between there, we, we managed to put up a bunch of points there, so that was a good part of it. But uh, I think it proved there's room for improvement. And, uh, you know, I think the bubble burst on the, the shutouts that we've had, you know, nobody's scored mm-hmm. on us. And, you know, maybe that's a blessing in disguise, too, there, because, uh, you know, it is inevitable, inevitable to score on you and uh, to kind of get that out of our minds and just get back into playing football and, and uh, playing sun football, Jason Casey defense football, you know, that's what we want to do. It's also a potential playoff matchup. Do you hold anything back, keep any cards to your chest? Yeah, you know, uh, I think you do want to play as conservative as you can and, and keep some keep some cards for later on. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I'd probably be a better question to ask Tony, but uh, I think, yeah, I think we'll hold back a little bit and, and save some things for down the road. The 4-5 and five Victoria Rebels will head to the Okanagan this weekend for what is a potential playoff preview. Last weekend, the Rebels gained some much-needed momentum in the fourth quarter. Momentum head coach John Cardalicchia hopes will carry over into this weekend. Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, uh, if we could just string string together a couple more quarters like that, it would be <laughs> nice. But uh, the boys fought hard, and it's indicative of their spirit. You know, they, they just never give up, and things started to uh, work for us. We got a few of the bounces in the fourth and finished strong, so that's always going, in, going into the next game. After seeing the Sun, watching game film this week, do you see some holes that you can exploit? Well, you know, they're a pretty well-balanced team, and... Uh, you know, they're well coached, lots of athletes all over the field, so everything you get, you got to earn. And, and it's, you know, a matter of just executing your plays well and, uh, you know, making sure that you're sharp and you play fast and uh, you get your blocks because uh, they flow to the ball well and they certainly, you know, uh, have a kid in Bobby Davis there who can make plays with his feet and uh, some damn good receivers. So, you know, they're, they're a team you got to show up and be. You know, be perfect on the day. Most well, speaking of athletes, Sam Adu set a new club rushing record for the Rebels in a single season. Uh, what does he mean to your ball club? Oh, Sam's the, uh, you know, Sam is the rock. You know, he's, uh, he does all his talking with his pads and his play, and he's such a, an unselfish uh, leader out there. So, I mean, most of the times we're missing a block here, missing a block there, but he just makes yards on his own. I've never seen a back make so many yards on his own, uh, you know, in this club anyway, that's for sure. The two-time defending champion Vancouver Island Raiders have begun flexing their muscle heading into the postseason. The 8-1 Raiders received another wonderful performance from quarterback Jordan Yance, who was named BCFC Offensive Player of the Week and accounted for 30 of the Raiders' 63 points. Head coach Matt Blocker says his club is clicking on all cylinders as they head to Kamloops. I think we're getting close, uh, that's for sure, and you know we're able to adjust during the games a little bit better than what we had earlier in the year. and. You know, we're, we're starting to limit our, our, our mistakes a little bit better. So we're coming along, and hopefully we get a little bit better performance this week, and, and, uh, and then away we go. And we're in, and, and uh, by the looks of it, we're going to finish second. So it seems like then, uh, you know, it's going to be Surrey. So um, got to get ready for them. Kamloops has a very good defense. As you look at your second half of the home and home, you finish on the road. Is it important to score first for the Raiders this weekend? Well, yeah, we definitely, uh, you know, if we have the opportunity to uh, get the ball first and away we go, absolutely. But uh, we just got to be a lot more consistent, you know, in the first quarter compared to uh, how we were last week. And, and uh, you know, uh, I felt at times last week that maybe we didn't give our best, and, and it's important that we do it this week. You know in the postseason it's so important to have a good kicking game. How has experience helped Mark Mueller? Well, I mean, Mark's really coming on in the, the back end of the season here, and uh, we, we haven't given Mark a, a whole lot of opportunities this year to kick <laughs> field goals, but, uh, uh, you know, he's really been coming on strong at, here at the end and, and kicked well, uh, you know, against Kamloops and punting the ball well, and, and uh, so we're pretty excited about that. And, you know, he's been through it, uh, you know, this is his third year, and he's been through some pressure situations, and he's played in a lot of big games now. So, you know, from that standpoint, uh I think that bodes well for Mark. The three and six Kamloops Broncos played a very solid game last weekend in Nanaimo and showed why they aren't just a pushover. Saturday night is the final game for a number of players in a Broncos uniform, and interim head coach Daryl Chow says this weekend should be an emotional one for his club. Oh, for sure. We've got uh, six or seven guys who have been with the program for uh, three and four years, and and. Uh, 
I know it means a lot to them, and we've sure appreciated them sticking it out for that length of time, too, considering the kinds of seasons that we've had. Second half of a home-and-home, you finish in Kamloops, which is a nice touch. What do you take away from last weekend as you prepare for the Raiders? As expected, Nanaimo is a a super team. They're uh, up there for a reason in the standings. Uh, We're really proud of the offense for for sticking to it, and we've got you know, to for us to score 22 points on them. We should, you know, give them a lot of confidence. Um, I wish we could have put those 22 points to, to some other games that we've had in the season. <laughs> that's for sure. What are some of your keys for this game on Saturday? We, we did for last week was really simplify things, especially with with so many young players, our young quarterbacks, and we're going to continue that bent. That, that uh, again, it's no frills, nothing fancy, the really basic stuff, and and also of course. Uh, getting a look at players uh, in preparation for next season as well. The 4-5 and five South Surrey Rams punched their ticket to the postseason after a win last weekend in Chilliwack. The Rams continued to be banged up heading into the final week of the regular season, and head coach Chris Butchler explains if he'll get a chance to rest some players before the postseason. 50-50. Couldn't tell you which way it's going to be. I mean, we're getting people healthier they are coming back, but uh, we still are playing. Um, we have one quarterback, well, we two, but our third isn't back yet, so... A couple linemen are coming back, and for the playoffs we might have everybody back, but can't guarantee it. As you get guys back, do they have to shake off the rust, or are they still in game shape? Um, they have to shake off the rust. Mm. You know, we're going to hopefully have a group of them play this week, and then, plus they only have 40 players. That makes it even more difficult when you mm. go into the playoffs because these guys haven't been playing. Other than staying healthy, what are some of your goals heading into the game against Chilliwack? Play everybody. I don't really think it matters whether we win, lose, or draw. Basically, it's just to get those guys in who haven't played, and we have a couple that are going to play give them a quarter here, a quarter there, and just try and stay healthy. Mm-hmm. And if everything gets banged up, just sit them down. I mean, uh, we're really bitten. Are you looking to put in some new plays as you approach the playoffs? Because like you say, you're in no matter what. We have um, already, we got two packages in that are brand new. We can't run them because the quarterback got hurt. So, I mean, Taylor's came back and played um, on a bad ankle last weekend, and he's better this weekend, but, I mean, he's learning, and, you know, because he got hurt and stuff. It's just... It's just bad luck. It's the final weekend of the regular season as postseason positioning is still up for grabs. Get out and enjoy some great junior football. Until next time, I'm Ryan Waters.